Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little different for you guys. I had tons of requests to do a cut crease eyeshadow look. So this is the look I'm doing for you guys. If you want to see how I got this look then please continue to watch this video. Now the first thing I'm going to do is apply a base all over my eyelid. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Long Concealer. And this is just going to ensure that my eyeshadow lasts all day long and it doesn't crease up. I'm also going to go in with another eyeshadow base. I'm going to use the MAC Soft Orca Paint Pot as well. Just to make sure that the eyeshadow really, really lasts all day long and it doesn't crease. I think I should have went with a my primer instead though because I had a little bit of an issue with creasing. So I had to keep fixing my eyeshadow. Now the first eyeshadow I'm going to use today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel Eyeshadow. It's from the Amrezy Palette. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC 224 Blending Brush and I'm just going to apply this a little above my crease. So this is just outlining where I'm going to make my cut crease. So next I'm going to take a gel liner. The one I'm using, it's from Sigma, so it's called Liberally Toasted. And you're going to need a sharp angle brush. So this is the MAC 263 Angle Brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and outline uh, basically another crease. So I'm just going to go a little above my natural crease. And I'm basically applying it where I apply the eyeshadow. And we're just going to go ahead and outline it. And then we're just, I'm not going to take it all the way through. And if this is your first time doing a cut crease and you find it a bit difficult, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is actually my second attempt with this video. I filmed this video before. I didn't like how it turned out. So this is my second time doing it. And it just takes a bit of practice to get used to doing a cut crease. Now, I just basically use my angle brush just to brush the uh, gel liner upwards. And then I'm going to go back onto the eyelid and apply some more of the Max Soft Orca Paint Pot on my eyelid. I'm just using that to help clean up the cut crease. And then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. This one is from MAC and I'm just going to blend the brown in a bit. Next I'm going to go into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to grab the darkest brown. So I'm just going to go back over where I placed the gel liner just to ensure that this line remains nice and sharp and it stays put. So I'm just going to apply some eyeshadow and then I'm going to go in with the pencil brush and just blend that out. And as you can see I'm just using an angle brush just to flick it upwards. Now I'm going to go back into the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow um, Reezy palette and I'm going to grab the eyeshadow caramel and the plum and I'm just mixing them together with the MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to apply the eyeshadow right above where we place the cut crease. So I'm just going to place that right above and just blend back and forth. Now before I complete my eyeshadow look, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow is Pencil. So I'm just going to lightly outline my brows and fill them in. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer that is about a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to use that to, as my brow bone highlight and I'm going to use that to clean up my brows and give it a nice sharp clean look. Now we're going to go back to the eyes. I'm going to go back into the same Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to grab this nude, very nude, kind of like a bone tone shade color. And this is just another uh, palette that you could use if you don't have the Too Faced palette. That's from Wet n Wild. And I'm just using the MAC 239 brush and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. Well, not all over my eyelid. I'm going to place it under my eyelid under i'm gonna place it on my eyelid not going above the crease you guys i cannot talk today and then i'm gonna go back with the mac 224 blending brush so you just want to make sure the brush is clean and i'm just going to blend and get rid of the, any harsh lines and then i'm gonna go back with the angle brush just to create a sharper line so i just apply more brown eyeshadow into the crease Okay, so just to add a hint of shimmer to the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and add Naked Loose Pigment. I absolutely love this pigment. It's by MAC Cosmetics. You guys see me use so many times. And I'm just going to apply that on the lid, not going above the crease. And I'm going to go back with my blending brush, of course, just to make sure everything is nice and blended. As you guys can see, I go back with the angle brush as well. And I'm using, um, I'm not exactly sure what brush this is. I believe it's from Coastal Sense, but I'm just using that to just make sure that everything is nice and 
and blended and at the highest point of my brow bone I'm going to go ahead and apply some of that naked loose pigment as well. Next I'll be taking the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner and I'm going to go ahead and create a wing liner. And the brush that I'm using is also the same brush that I used to create the cut crease so it is an angled brush. Now before I apply any eyeshadow on my bottom lash line, I like to go ahead and apply my foundation. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a primer to my skin just to ensure that my foundation lasts all day long. And I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And for foundation today, I'm using the AJ Crimson uh, Cream Foundation. Amazing. Love this foundation at the moment. It gives my skin a really nice... Um, skin like finish <laughs> and I'm using a buffing brush and as you can see the eye is completed and I'm going to go ahead and complete the other eye for you guys. Now I didn't do my full highlight and contour on camera because I already have a video. So I'll move on to the eyes. I'm going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm Reezy palette and I'm going to grab the eyeshadow deep plum and I'm just going to apply it onto a angle brush and I'm going to place it on my bottom lash line. Then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush just to blend out the eyeshadow, kind of smoke it out just a bit. Next we're going to go into the same gel liner and I'm just going to use the same angle brush and I'm going to apply the gel liner along the bottom lash line as well. Okay, I really suck at explaining liner, so guys, just watch and follow what I'm doing. I'm still using the angle brush and the gel liner, and I'm kind of uh, placing it all the way at the inner corner of my eye. This is going to create a more elongated eye shape. And then I'm going to go in with my pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend the gel liner into the uh, eyeshadow. To line my waterline, I'm going to use a black eye pencil, and I'm just going to apply it on the waterline and I'm not going to go all the way through. Then I'm going to go into my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to place that at the inner portion of my eyes using the angle brush. You can either use a nude pencil or a white pencil, white eyeliner pencil. I couldn't find mine so I just went ahead and used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. look I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of my favorite lashes these are the Abelia lashes by L'Amour Mink lashes and I'm just gonna apply it on my top lash line and the glue that I use to apply my lashes is by duo then I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of my face I'm gonna go ahead and contour the hollows of my cheek and I'm using my Maybelline fit me foundation powder in the shade mocha for my contour I use a uh, BH cosmetics brush and for my blush today I'm gonna use like a peach tone blush this one is by morphe brushes and I'm using the Sonia Kashuk blush brush and I'm gonna go in with my dual fiber brush just to blend it all in and next I'm gonna apply some highlighter to the highest point of my cheekbone I'm using a fan brush it's by Quo Cosmetics it's a Canadian drugstore brand my brush is a little bit on the worn out side and the uh, highlighter that I'm using is the Bobbi Brown bronze glow and as you guys can see I apply a little bit of the fix plus on my brush and I apply it on my face as well just to give my face a nice refreshed look and have my skin look nice and glowy and we're gonna move on to lipstick okay so now that the face is completed I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips so the first choice lipstick I wore is uh, lipstick it's by AJ Crimson and it's called Roleplay it's a really nice bright orangey lipstick and then I'm gonna try another lipstick because I couldn't decide on what lipstick I wanted to wear so the second choice is uh, bondage also by AJ Crimson and I lined my lips first with the Mac pencil uh, cork I absolutely love this one bondage is probably one of my favorite nudes and then I'm gonna go in with this really dark and vampy shade I am in love I love vampy lips and this one is called no explanation absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna put a link in the description bar down below so you guys can go ahead and check out the AJ Crimson's lipsticks they are freaking amazing I'm in love with them so yeah this is pretty much the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I had tons of fun doing this video for you guys I will see you guys in another video very very soon I love you guys bye